Hello and welcome to the Train Master Studio. My name is Rick Green. I'm here with Al Collins, the man behind, in front of, and occasionally on top of the uh, Ultimation Sander. Now, you've bought the sander and now you've bought the repeater so you can cut precision one part after another after another. And how do I install this? Because this is replacing parts of the sander. So do you want to take us through this, Al? Sure, it, it's an accessory, if you like. So. Um, Really simple. The okay. repeater comes completely assembled and okay. it comes with a little bag of goodies. And a lot of bubble wrap that I've been stepping on all of it. So, um, I was trying to write written instructions, but that unfortunately is not my forte. And right. we were here, Rick agreed to spend a few minutes, so um, uh -huh. we're going to do it on video. Okay, so you've got, you're giving people not only the uh, repeater tool, you're giving them some tools to put this, uh, some Allen keys and wrenches to put this together. Yeah. And these are, because they're metric, are they not? They are. Okay, they are. so, and not everybody will have metric. All right. So, so we've got a, uh, a 10 millimeter metric wrench. Okay. That none of your friends would have, by no. the way. So My friends suck for that <laughs> reason. They just um, the first thing we need to do is take the, the quadrant, this is what we call a quadrant, this is called a protractor. We're going to remove the existing quadrant on the sander that uh, you've already been using. Because there's one already here. Yeah, Got it's it. just okay. a same idea but just slightly different. So first of all, the, uh, the knob comes off. There's a nut underneath here. This is the 10 millimeter nut. It just gets loosened. Remember, like so. Allen key and this comes out. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah, they would damage the Allen key using trying to loosen that. So yeah, I loosen the nut first, otherwise it it uh, it just messes up the Allen. And you'll tighten the nut last. Last. Obviously. Yeah. Going. Exactly. Brilliant. Okay. I'm not as dumb as I look. Well, who could be? <laughs> All right. That comes off. This simply. We want to move that back out of the way so it doesn't hit the disc okay. just by loosening that. Okay. That slips back over top of that. Yep. This can go back on. As, as I explained to Rick earlier, um, washers are coined or stamped, so they always have a smooth side. Yeah, that's kind of a cross section that goes up, a rounded corner and yeah. down, and the other side, rough. So when you put it back together, you don't want it. That's, I don't know if you can see this or not, but one side's got sharp edges, which is the bottom side when they when they make washers. The top side has a, a very smooth... It almost looks like it's been sanded. Yeah. And that's the side you're going to want to put face down. Yeah, right? we, want to, we want to put that face down so that as the quadrant moves, it doesn't scratch it all up. All right, so put the knob back on. Can't emphasize enough with, with things like this, don't over tighten them, just snug. Right. Everything just snug. should be snug. Okay. Now we take the... Uh, Having mentioned the same on the washer, we want the smooth side of the washer down. So, so as that quadrant rotates back and forth, it doesn't scratch it all up. Right. 10 millimeter nut goes back on underneath. Okay. Try not to drop it on the floor. Now here, a very important finger tight. Just, we're just gonna turn that there's a little wavy washer on there that puts a little tension on. Right. Just finger tight so that, that now this will rotate sm smoothly when you want to adjust your angles, but not come loose. Right. Once that's there, and as tighten. Rick just mentioned, hold the bolt with the Allen key and tighten the nut. Okay, that's great. Underneath. Mm -hmm. All right, snug. That's a lock nut, so it doesn't have to go too far. All right, now, as you can see, we've got nice smooth movement. Absolutely. A so, couple of things we want to check. Mm -hmm. Although these are all made on the same machine and laser engraved on the same, there's always a margin of error. A square, any square, this happens to be my favorite, but you can take a square, you see it on, and just check. So that's 90, should be 90 degrees. That in fact. So we're out, well, maybe a degree. We can Where are we looking at? Where we're looking see? here, the arrow right. should be on 90 degrees. So if we're 90 degrees here and here. So that's slightly off. 
we're off about half a degree, but how we're, do we fix we're that? fussy, we can fix it. So there's okay. another another Allen key. The okay, in -between so we're going to move the uh, we're going to move the protractor, protractor around a bit. Oh, so we really. just loosen, and touch. Now we can adjust. We can adjust that. Brilliant. I'm not sure half a degree matters to guys that were working at wood. However, we have the ability to be, but, be fussy. But we're using this also for cutting rail, yeah. for cutting everything. So uh, the, 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 the option is there to make it perfect. So then we should make it perfect. Not cut rail, but sand rail. All right. If you want, you can check it at 45. And there we go. It's bang on at 45. Great. So we're all set up. One other little um, pointer mm -hmm. um, in setting this up. The little thimble on the end that allows you to, these, these gradations are one thousandths of an inch. Right. So that allows you to fine tune a length that you're doing. Before you start on any piece of wood you're working on, Make sure there's three or four threads exposed at, oh, okay. at this end here. Uh, that way you have potential to get full motion in the okay. so in that adjustment without it running out. Okay, so I'm going to have this slid, slid out, I see. About, about to there. Yeah, okay. Now in that thimble, there is a little tiny brass set screw. You want a bit of drag on that thimble, a bit of friction. Um, but not much. Not too much. So that, like I said before, the secret to all these things is... So that's not bad for now. Now that's brass and it's on a steel... Oh yeah, okay. All right? Not sloppy, but not so tight that you can't turn it. Because if, if you're going to fine tune something, you want to be able to turn that a thousandth of an inch at a time. Over After you've used this for a little while, the brass on the end of that set screw is going to wear a bit. So, so it again. there is a one sixteenth Allen key that comes that, and again you're talking about just a whisker of adjustment. Okay. And there you are. And there then we are. drop. So drop a piece of wood in there and show um, me. All right. Well, we've we've used these before. Yep. As a demonstration, they've got a thirty seven degree angle on each end. We established that as a master. Right. Thanks. So if you look at the drawing I have in front of me here, mm -hmm. and, uh, you can see that I have made a master uh, piece and I wrote master on it because right. I get confused. So right. if that's the one that we want to duplicate, it would go in here. Right. It'll go in here. We now bring the carriage up just till it touches. Right. Like so now we can pull the trigger back. I'll use a different piece just uh, so it shows up more. We can put that piece in. I will. I'll yeah, be, I the, I'll be the clamp. You can be the clamp. I'm the human clamp. We can now sand that. And as you're sanding, this is crawling yeah, in. Yeah, the it's spring is pushed. So when it gets when it gets to the stop here, it doesn't go anymore. It stops sanding. You can pull the carriage back, take this out, okay. and you will have a piece. Oh yeah, that's exactly the same. Brilliant. You could do as many as you like. You can sit and watch TV and make trestle parts to your heart's content. Fabulous. It's brilliant. And if in the, the one last feature, Rick, is that um, this one actually is, as you can see, is just a touch long. Right. So if we wanted to fine tune that, let's for argument's sake say we want to take a thousandth of an inch. This goes back to the thimble I was just talking about. Right. Let's just take, I'll uh, take five thousandths of an inch off Oh, that. okay. And, and there's a, I may not show yeah. up, but there's a gradient yeah, there. Yeah, there's a gradient there. Now it may seem like, it may seem like it's not doing much. It hits the stop. Now we can go back. We'll use my famous surgical knife. Surgical knife off. just to get rid of the fuzz. Mm -hmm. Now we can go back and we can do that. And now they are well, exactly the same. Within right. a thousandth of an inch.
and the repeater allows you to repeat and repeat and repeat. So, uh, if you have any questions, watch this again, uh, and otherwise, uh, enjoy your repeater. Uh, enjoy it repeatedly. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you, Al. Thanks, Rick. Thank you.